Hi, welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today I'm going to show you the survival gear that I took with me on my solo four day kayaking trip. So we're winding down. This is day three. Uh, evening is fast approaching here. Uh, most of the boats are gone. I think there might be one boat over in the corner. I can't quite tell. Uh, as soon as that boat leaves, I've got the island to myself again. So went over my sleeping equipment in another video. Uh, went over my cooking equipment, went over my hunter and gathering kit. Uh, but this is the core of what I've used to get by. Uh, I've got it in a Klein tool pouch right here. I took all the stuff. This one normally rides in my haversack, but because I was trying to compact and get everything in a small little area, uh, it fit better here and I could get it flat. So this is a canvas tool bag, basically. You can find these in the electrical department uh, at like Lowe's or Home Depot. I will have a lot of this stuff, probably the bag itself, also in my Amazon store. Just started an Amazon influencer page, so check it out. Buy it through the link and it helps me out. So for cordage, bare minimum here. You see, I mean, I've maybe got 20, 30 feet of bank line. I've got my ridge line uh, in an emergency. I have one lighter. I have another Bic lighter that sits in my spray skirt. So if I have to exit through the kayak, make a wet exit, I'm gonna have my knife on me and I'm going to have the lighter at least with me as well. Uh, this also was attached. This is my K&R compass. Uh, this is not a base place compass. The top of it broke off. So it was, uh, when I was getting in and out of the kayak, uh, it just got hung up and pulled off. Hopefully I can get this fixed or replaced uh, when I get on the mainland. So a little different camera angle. Uh, it slipped on the tree actually. So I've got my bandana, like I said. I also have duct tape. Uh, you saw me use this in the, uh, the feature video where I actually duct tape my last uh, water jug lid on. Inside the duct tape that I always carry, this is a little bit of steel wool. You see it's starting to rust. Uh, this has been used for gear maintenance already on this trip. Uh, pencil paper I have not used yet uh, any notes I've needed to take was before the trip started uh, after that I haven't really used that at all I've got a couple sticks of fat wood here this goes with my fire kit my very very minimal fire kit I have a half inch ferro rod to go along with my two big lighters I've got some those storm matches so this is a nearly full container of storm matches and then I have a couple uh, wet fire tabs these uh, this is the bulk of my fire kit this is it I've been using the lighter for the most part I haven't struck the ferro rod I used uh, the matches the first day uh, I had water all over and I just didn't feel like drying the lighter out so I went ahead and used the match so headlamp uh, critical important uh, I'm the only one here uh, it's black as hell there's a uh, like a wetlands area behind me so you can see I'm either going in the ocean or I'm going in a swamp so I've got very little area to play in here so I have uh, extra batteries as well they were new in the package the package kind of got wet and fell apart or whatever but uh, this is critical and the last thing in my kit is a sharpening stone this is a Lansky diamond rod uh, the main reason I brought this was because the knife I'm carrying is only a three inch blade. So I was slightly concerned with uh, uh, flaying fish and doing a bunch of other stuff because I've been down here for a whole week. So a shorter knife, I've got less working area than on a longer knife. So I kind of wanted it for that as well as uh, the first test of my trip, I had a bolo machete with me and a bill hook. So we did more chopping, more bushcrafting type stuff. Uh, this is uh, backcountry uh, camping right here on this particular island. So I don't really need to go killing brush or nothing like that. Any little cutting I've been able to do with my Catawba knife. Um, I'll go over this in another video because this is a special one that I made up just for this trip. Uh, haven't used this. Uh, don't normally carry this. I thought I'd better carry it since I've only got one cutting tool with me. So it's not a lot of gear, but I really don't need a lot of gear. Once you get used to camping out of just a haversack, uh, you can get by with very, very little. 
a lot of the fire stuff is just redundancy. I could have done it all with just a barrel rod or just a lighter. Uh, it's just a good idea to have extra stuff with you. Uh, and you see, again, like my tarp and everything else, rather than compress it as small as possible, I'd rather have a little bit of give to it so I can pack it in my uh, carry-on. So again, anything in here is flyable other than my knife. So my knife's getting mailed home to me uh, and everything else is gonna be carried onto the airplane back home. So I have to pack the kayak back up, paddle around the other side of the island. I've gotta make camp real quick, uh, get dinner cooking, and this whole trip is winding down. So it's been fun down here in the Keys. Uh, but like and subscribe the video uh, click the notification bell to keep in track of what I'm doing I'm also on Instagram uh, Facebook burning river bushcraft and uh, now I've got the new Amazon influence page so anything uh, you're questioning about check in the description I'll try to put a link in the description area on how to get the items I've got